Hey there, friends. Got it. Hey, Krabby. Robin backwards. What's with the ice cream music, by the way? Oh, that explains it. That's a hype moment right there. <laughs> Who the heck is that in the middle? Is that the ice cream they're going to be eating? That realistic looking ice cream right there? But let me tell you. They're getting ice cream is super hype when you hear that ice cream truck going around and they serve that soft serve ice cream. They get that swirl right there. I love soft serve ice cream when you just lick that ice cream cone and it's like it's nice to the touch. It's fake. Wait a second. I see no cream of ice. Oh, no, because there is none. Why would you do that? But dude, that's the opposite of ice cream. <laughs> oh. We fell for the old Sunday barbecue at the boring meeting switcheroo. I fooled you all into coming. Wow, so thank you, you Cyborg. You very hard on. Thank, thank you, Cyborg. Like literally, literally with his old references with the switcheroo and everything. But yeah, that's a switcheroo right there. How dare you switch a roo us with ice cream and give us a boring mating, Robin? The rules of Robin. The rules of who? Boom, boom, boom. You don't even know what you're booing yet. Well, it's a big book with your name on it. That's all we need to know. It's a strict rule book on how to follow rules. Rule number one, follow the rules. Yeah. Why did here's here's my here's what here's my little like uh pet peeve with cartoons opening books like they open books halfway and it's like rule number one or page one but the book is open halfway I don't know that cat that like it shouldn't bother me but it's like it's really weird. I'll read the rest of the rules on the way. Titans, go. Oh boy. Two thirteen. Bottom to top. No more of this sideways nonsense. And when really? Oh, oh no, not him. That they hit some. But well, hello. You am safe from fireless building now. No thanks to Nibor. Nibor. Wait. Is this the? Is this like the Bizarro characters where they pretty much do the like the opposite of what you do like. I only know this because of Bizarro Superman, who pretty much does the opposite of what you do. Mostly because of this YouTube channel that I check out. Uh, something is like, what is that channel name with the uh, with the fan with the voiceovers of these DC characters? It's like JJ something, but literally, I've recognized. Bizarro Superman, so it's like there's a Bizarro Robin too. Why is that dude saving that other dude from nothing? Those people are dead. Exactly like you. Except slightly more handsome. Say what? Hello? Starfire finds Nibor attractive? Really? I mean, I can see it though. I mean, yeah. Okay, I I kind of see it now. <laughs> Rule seventy five. I'm the handsome one, and he's from Bizarro World, where everyone is the opposite of someone here. He's my opposite, lacking my intelligence, leadership, and incredible athletic ability. They actually have stats. Oh yeah. So okay. So this Robin is the Dick Grayson Robin, but then Nibor. We I love that the name is scratched out. I love that his leadership is two out of five. He's supposed to be a leader, and that's his worst skill. But Nibor actually has some leadership. Oh. <laughs> uh, everyone, this is Nibor. Goodbye. Bad to meet you all. Rude. So, so rude. The opposite, that's though. The worst. opposite. He usually says the opposite of what he really means. So for him, up actually means sideways. D no, Thanks, Beast Boy. Backwards. Keep trying. Uh, <laughs> He's trying though. Beast Boy is trying though. Like, uh, his intelligence is the lowest stat, I'm pretty sure, but so I take it that I, I just love that Robin's like, yep, yeah, that's Nibor. Hello, this is yeah, meet Nibor, everybody, for the first time, even though Robin is aware of Nibor.
but is there a bizarro teen titans like is there a bizarro beast boy raven starfire cyborgio no what are you doing here <laughs> nibor bizarro titans saved me do a great job as leader and they kick me out so oh poor nibor oh no dog be held hostage I mean, he's not wrong, though. He's not wrong about the dog being held hostage. Oh, 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 ow. Painful indeed. So pretty much I do get that. Yeah, Nibor says everything in wave. Hold on a second. Isn't Bizarro and Robin supposed to be like all green? Wait, were his arms green in the previous episode? Because his arms are normal or Robin's color here. Hold on, I had to like take a closer look at his arms. His arms! His arms! How dare you yeah. get me into your ugly home? Yeah! You saw that, right? He was walking, had had Robin's skin color, turns, and his skin color is green again. I think I found an animation error. Look at me go. <sighs> if you don't like it, bro, then you can get out. Peace boy. No, boy. He's saying he <laughs> likes our place. Opposite speak, remember. Perhaps we should converse up oh, is lawnmower. Understand this strange and inconsistent manner of speech. It's the backward talk game where contestants battle it out to try to guess what Nibor is really saying. Cool. And want to set all criminals free. The thing is, I love that Starfire was talking about the inconsistent language when Starfire is the one being inconsistent with her speak with. With the way that she talks at times, it's I just find it funny that Starfire is the one that said that though. So you love justice and you want all criminals in jail. <laughs> it's kind of fun. That's right, Cyborg. Nice. Ooh, let me try. Me hate pizza. No way. Pizza is great. Peace boy. That's gonna cost you. Dang. Me love pizza. That's more like it. Yes, yes, yes. Me hate pizza. You are so wrong, bro. Be Beast boy, come on, but. What what is with the point consistency? Cyborg got three points for a long message, but Starfire got five for saying me love pizza. This game is rigged. So wrong. <laughs> oh my! That, that that's it. That's the game. <laughs> okay, Titans, time for more rules of Robin. Rule 52. A superhero must train a minimum of three times a day. Three times? No, I get it, though. Three times a day? Like, even... Like, you could try to exercise once a day, but three times a day when people got to go to work or school and then they got to do homework or go home and wonder why they have to work, they got to exercise three times a day in the middle of that? Where I'm going to do my push-ups on my boss's desk? Train, watch. Oh, now oh, that's wow. my style. I totally get him now. I want to train like Nibor. Oh boy, that is a ahead of you. <laughs> Go, Raven. I never knew the training could be so nice. Yo, oh, Starfire trying to get. In a relation with Naibo over here, Robin is going to be super jealous about that. Still kind of throws me off, but you know, after that whistling episode where Robin actually got Starfire's attention and they were about to kiss and the scene cut off and everything, but something tells me that Naibo is going to be like, me, leader, you good, Robin, you're good, leader, Robin, you should stay. But get that in opposite speak, and you know what I mean. <laughs> this is the opposite of training. Oh, look at Raven. That looks so if comfy, Nibor though. Stay, he has to follow the rules. Nibor promised to follow rules. Thank you. Dang, he's now, got his arm. He's got his me. arm around he's Starfire, alive. though. Always keep a tidy living area. I mean, at least it's the living area because, you know, that rules are not going to work with Beast Boy's room after what we saw last episode. That episode was a nasty. <laughs> What's next? Always eating healthy. I mean, that's pretty much what they eat, though. That's pretty much what they eat anyway. In bed by nine. Why is room, though? 
Why this room? <laughs> but the thing is, there's something tough about sleeping at nine. Does anybody out there, let me know in the comments, do you sleep that early? Unless it's like for work or school or something like that, you have to get used to a sleep schedule. And yeah, I'm pretty inconsistent with mine. Like at times I sleep a little early, but then at times I sleep really late. Yeah, I'm really inconsistent with my sleeping schedule. But dang, that that's so much pit that, that I, I don't know, like, like partying in his room though. Get sweaty. Not me. Oh. A seat, but uh, that's the opposite of cardio. Yes. Yeah. We called you here under false pretenses to tell you we are making Nibor our new leader. Oh, <gasps> what? You mean just like the whole ice cream sundae thing, and they tricked Robin with three hours of cardio to? I can't believe it. I can't believe they're making Nibor the leader. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What? Me promised to be a cruel and unfair leader. Oh. Thirty-seven <laughs> states. Sorry, bra. We like Nibor's rules better. Bra. Don't take it personally. We just like the opposite of you better. Dang. Look, guys, there's a reason I have so many rules. It's so I can get the best from each of you. Aww. If becomes your leader, this team will take a big step backwards. Literally. Backwards? <gasps> Robin, you just helped me realize something. I wonder what that is, though, but I just love in moments like these where Robin's leadership starts to shine, where he's like, okay, Titans, let me, let me, let me be serious in this speech. Let me tell you how I feel, what I think, and if you make Nibor the leader, things will go wrong. Yes, Nibor is Robin spelled backwards. That's crazy. <laughs> <sighs> I'll just go somewhere I'm appreciated. <laughs> thought I'd have to use this. Are you kidding me? Wait, the upside down T? Wait, the elevator takes him to, whoa. You mean the elevator takes him to Bizarro Titan Tower? Like, it's really that easy right there? It's through, so question then, if the elevator connects the two towers together, why was Nibor, why did they never see Nibor before? Why was Nibor in the city? At one point, then none of them just like meet each other and be like, sup, sup. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everything is so inverted. Or that weird filter. Oh. So, wait, excuse me. I I I need to see years ago. You guys are everything I ever wanted in a team. The exact opposite of my team. So I saw many things. I saw yeah, I, the characters are looking very different, so we actually are going to see the Bizarro Teen Titans. Now I wonder, can we see Bizarro Batman? Because I don't think I've seen Bizarro Batman before, but this is nuts. Corobus, the opposite of Cyborg. Yeah? Thoughtful and 99% human. Wait, 90, 99% human? So there's only one bit of him that is Cyborg? What, what kind of power? How is that a power? At that point, he's just human in boxers. Opposite of Raven. Great uh, attitude. Smiles a lot into spring fashion trends. Boy, what? The what? opposite of Beast Boy. Smart as a whip and a real go-getter. Yeah? Need to turn into any boy in the world. Any? I just saw many characters right there. Hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna just... The opposite of Beast Boy. I'm gonna go... The, I, I'm getting so much from this, though. So, yeah... Dan? No, that's not. No, no. Who is this? Who is this? He's the one with the tiger, right? That it's not Dennis the Menace. Why do I have Dennis the Menace in the mind? No, it's not Dennis the Menace. But he's the one with the tiger. Who the heck is this supposed to be? Yeah, these are like just. Is that supposed to be Bart Simpson, right? No, it's not, right? No, I have no idea. But I know that's supposed to be Elroy from the Jetsons. Yeah, I 
She didn't even get the names of the rest of them. But Raven Navarre, yeah, Navarre is throwing me off with the way she's smiling like that and everything. Aerofrat? Wow, I can well, see. Maybe not everyone is an improvement. Wow. We put you in friend zone. Oh. Mwah, mwah. Excuse me? You mean the Starfire that actually likes Robin? Oh, so the uh, so basically now we know how because we know how actual Starfire feels about Robin. The opposite of that is someone who's infatuated with Robin. Yeah, stay back. Now, but the licking though. Nibor. Nibor never always want to train. Only eat the junk food and sleep. Meaning yeah. structure. Then do I have a book for you? Oh my goodness. No! Now, let's follow some rules. <laughs> Bizarro Titans, go! Oh, that makes, yeah. I'm still, like, the reverse speak is throwing me off with, like, the, they say no, but they shake their heads yes. Bizarro Titans stop, stuff like that. I do like the details in that, but... Getting to, like, literally, we just learned everything about the Bizarro Titans in, like, what, one minute or less? But it's still, that was so, it's, yeah. Run, jump, run, jump. Ah. Oh. Oh. Robin, you should know how this works. You literally told the Titans about how Bizarro World works, and you're you're going against what you said. Or like, oh wow! I it's like in a way, it's like yeah, Robin is liking how the team works, but to them, the, yeah, that's not good. Freaking boy beast over here! Keep it down. Mm. They are looking pretty dang happy. Do you see how happy they look? They look very pleased with themselves, you know? Great work today, team. You really outdid yourselves. We enjoying your leadership very much, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> and me feelings for you have not changed at all. Me we still hate you. Backwards talk? No. Was that backwards talk? Uh oh. Yes. Uh, very confusing. But I'm going to assume you all love me. Now, excuse that me. That they do. That new training regimen. They they do. They do love you very much, Robin. These designs are really throwing me off, especially Boy Beast, who is meant to be a dog, who is very smart. It's weird seeing Smart Beast Boy. That's what I mean. It's just weird seeing a, a Smart Beast Boy. I am just loving these Bizarro Titans. Even though that's not Ugh, Beast Boy, it's Boy Beast. Such inspirational and great leader. What am we do then? <laughs> Me not have the plan. Oh, we're back. We're back. Am you enjoying training, Titans? Are they swimming in, Man, in sand? Leader was the best idea we've ever had. Training time am over, Nibor. Oh, the Bizarro Titans are here. Oh boy, I wonder how this is gonna go. But like, si like Bizarre Cyborg, please put on some clothes or something. It's just like he's in, he's out of here in his shorts. <laughs> Bizarro Titans and Robin. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing much. They just brought me over to tell you personally what a great job I'm doing and how they never want me to. Oh. Leave. That is what the yes. The backwards talking guys told you how much they love you. They wouldn't stop saying how much they love me. Uh, no! oh, are you kidding me? He just realized it now, even though he literally said how the bizarre world works. And then he just somehow completely forgot about that because he was working with a team that did everything he said. And. Wow, Robin, literally your. Your ego is your downfall. You were pretty much being praised by the Bizarro Titans so much, it became your major weakness right there. 
We am healthy and rested of Robin. Give us back Nibor. Later. Me now. We don't want Robin. What? Dang, nobody wants him. Oh my goodness. Me did not know Bizarro Titans care so little about Nibor. I I get okay, I, I know we're about to get a nice moment with Nibor and the Bizarro Titans, but Nobody wants Robin. Nobody wants him. It's like that meme where it's like It's it's like that meme where it's like, you know, you can like is it it's what there's that ah, okay. The meme is basically where they're like, oh yeah son or daughter like you can like a guy or a girl dang nobody wants you yeah nobody wants you for real something like that the meme is like that something like that yeah, but nobody sorry, wants robin okay Nibor. you know we always hate you oh <laughs> uh, yeah we we don't need that though oh come off guys let's have go home so you're telling me we can't see a robin and starfire kiss in the whistling episode but we have to see nibor and eris frat kiss they real the creators really be teasing everybody it's like oh yeah you can see robin and Cy starfire kiss we didn't say it's exactly robin and starfire it's the bizarre versions you get to see eris frat lick nibor yep I'm, I'm sure you like that, right? Yeah? You enjoyed that? Wait, that's how it ends? That's how it... <laughs> that, that's how it ends. You're joking me right now. You are kidding me. I thought they were going to say something to Robin, but yeah, nobody wants Robin. He's just there, knocked out on the ground. And they leave on the ground instead of the air. I get it, the reverse, but it's cool to see the Bizarro tie-ins. I thought the whole episode was going to involve just Bizarro Robin just proving that he's a better leader than Robin, but it's cool that we got to see the Bizarro Titans too, which like, will we see them again? Because they did not create all these characters just for one episode, right? There's got to be a point where we see the Bizarro Titans again. And we quickly learn how the Bizarro world works. How everything they say they mean in reverse. And Robin being the dumb dumb that he is. Messed it up. I'm pretty sure he had the perfect team. And yet he messed it up. By being a great leader. This is Bizarro 2. <laughs> What's my Bizarro version like? I'm actually curious. All right, so in the comments, please tell me what would my Bizarro version be like? So, you know, I'm React Tuna. I got a suit and everything. What would be my Bizarro version? Think about that. I would love to know what you think. But yeah, this was a very wacky episode. Cool to see Nibor. It's crazy that in both worlds, Nibor got the Riz where both Starfires love him. Eris Frat and Starfire both like Nibor. Nobody likes Robin. Dang. But the thing is, Starfire is right. Nibor's got something in him that Robin does not have. I I think I know what that is. He's green. There we go. That's what it is. He's green. But hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. This was a very fun episode. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you didn't, let me know what you think in the comments below. I will catch you now.